so I'm raised in a single parent household. Um, my dad went to go get the milk when I was really young. Uh, I think yeah. Tesco sold out and Sainsbury's and every other shop in the UK. He's still looking for the milk. Mate, 21 years on, and I still, I still don't think a supermarket have stocked it. Um, I'm awaiting that delivery, but... Uh, <laughs> No, nah, mate, it was before I was born, to be honest. Oh, okay, it was just, okay. yeah, before I was born. Nah, he, maybe if you met you, you would have stayed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I've, I've met him a few times a few oh, times okay. recently. But um, but no, all jokes aside, he's, he's a good guy as well. I understand what what his yeah. life is, and, and I understand the circumstances, of course. No hate. Yeah, no, no hate at all to my dad. Oh, like, if you're watching this, big love, big love to you as well. Um, but yeah, I was raised by my mum. She's just a very strong woman. Um, from young, I was... I was I was bigged up by my mum. I was given very, very good confidence from my mum. And I'm not just going to say it's all come from my mum because obviously in life you have... Experiences. You have experiences, but it's more like... I'm a very strong believer of like genetic ability in like in all different fields, right? And to not sound too cocky, I think I'm genetically gifted in very, very, very many fields. Right, and I, I have the life experiences to back it up, the numbers to back it up. But from young, I was the quickest runner at school. I was oh, the yeah. youngest black belt. I oh, nice. got into every grammar school in my area. Um, grammar. Every grammar school in my oh, area. Okay. Yeah, I got I got an academic scholarship to private school. Oh, yeah, yeah. People You're don't know this. Well. Book smart. Yeah, but that was also pushed by my mum. My mum actually sold her house when I was. So my my mum was. Um, Oh, I don't remember what she did. An office job, right? Okay. In, a, in an oil company. So de- decent, decent dive. Nothing too special. Like a secretary? But she owned like... just uh, office job. Okay. In, okay. I, I really, I, I don't know. Yeah, nine to five office job up at Canary Wharf, that, that sort of jazz. But she sold her house to put me through private education. So I went to private primary, Damn. private secondary, right? And that just shows you the level of commitment she had to... to your, your, your future. Exactly, yeah. It was all built towards successful. And although she wanted me to go down more of a traditional route, just because she wasn't opened up to what is actually possible nowadays, but we'll get onto the internet money and shit like that a bit later on. Yeah, um, she wasn't opened up to that, so I was pushed down the more traditional route. Yeah. Um, so that's why I was banging out school. I had a tutor for my 11... We have things called 11 plus to get into your grammar school. So when you leave primary school at like sort of 10, 11, yeah. go to secondary school, there's, a, there's an exam that you can sit. I had a tutor for that, yeah, yeah. Um, but it wasn't just that. It was like I had my mum. I would say is a, a hard line parent. She's tough with me. She's honest, tough, and tells me how it is. Yeah. She'll she she'd take me karate class four times a week. That I remember there'd be times I didn't want to go from young. Good. Like when I say I started young, I started karate. I think I was two, something what? like that. Yeah, like two and a half, three, like something really young. Like I, I started doing this shit from young. Right, I was a black belt by the time I was nine. What? I turned up at nine, kid you not. You can look, Harris, type in Harrison Sullivan on Google, you'll see it. I turned up when I was nine the other, uh, to a black belt examination, right? There's a few of these uh, up, up and down the country. Every single person in that room was above the age of 40. I walked in there, people were like, literally like, what the f-? like, what, Who is this guy? Like, literally, who is this guy? I remember my karate instructor saying to me, Went months so on my mum wanted me to put, to do the black belt thing. She wanted me to be the the youngest guy that uh, um, that had achieved it. I remember the guy saying to me, "Look, I'll put you in for it. You can pay for the examination, etc. But he's not going to get it. He's yeah. too young. It's the examiner's going to think he's a joke, man. He's not going to do it." And my mum was like, "He I is going to do it, and I'm going to send him there. I'm going to take him there, and he is going to do it." I went there. I aced it. I did it. I left. Youngest black belt done. Can't you? Yeah. So that that's the sort of parent my mum was pushing me. But what Didn't the, take no for an you answer. Know, you, you say like she was like disciplined and she was tough on you, but at the same time you sh- you showed that she really believed in you and she supported you and she built your self esteem by always bigging you up. So how was the balance like? Because you need to you need to balance. If it's like too much of compliments, then you don't you don't you don't struggle enough. You don't push yourself enough. And if it's too much of like discipline, then you just you're just depressed. You know. My mom had high standards. Yeah. I'd I'd but she also let me have fun as well. Don't I wasn't in some sort of like. SAS routine from young or it might sound like that I had to to meet my goals and then I could have fun okay so I had all the the, I had the 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 Wii I think it was back then the game shit oh yeah Wii yeah that was on the TV thing but I remember I'd come home on a Friday I'd have my own work to do for like English and stuff like that essays whatever I'd have to finish that to a level that not not just to some not, not just knock it out 
to a, a higher standard that my mum would read through and think, yeah, that's good enough. Like, that's top level. That's going to get, get you. Away, if do? I didn't get out, I think I'd do it again. Oh, okay. Did, did, didn't do it again, I'd do it again. No, no fun would until the work you, was done. Would she smack you? <laughs> Slap the f*** out of me. Nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Um, no. Um, did you get hit as a child? Hit. Well, you had an easy. Uh, maybe I had a slap or two. You know, I, I, I probably had a slap. Yeah, yeah, I definitely maybe had a slap. Nine year old karate guy. She was like, "Listen, no, I had, yeah, no, I was, I was doing all this out of the way, but no, yeah. I, I definitely had a slap or two. Yeah, yeah but I was uh, from young. It was do your work, then you can enjoy. it. But in school, you were not the. You seem like I don't know. When I look at you now, I just have the feeling that in class you were like big class clown, big like. Uh, somebody was like the hard, very hard to control. I used to rock on my chair. Just a rebel, rebel. I used to rock on my chair, bad man, when I was very, very young. Yeah. Um, and I remember my one of my teachers. They'd always tell me stop rocking on your chair, stop rocking on your chair. From young, I did just didn't give a shit like what yeah. what people would really tell me to do. The only person I listened to was my mum. Um, from young, like I, I didn't. If I wanted to do something, I'd do it. If like I didn't want to do it, I wouldn't you'd, do it. You'd my mum, my, I couldn't not do it. There was no option to not do it. If, if there was an option to not do it, I probably wouldn't have. Yeah. But there was no option to not do what my mum said. So I did what she said from young. But teachers at school, I'd always get in trouble. My headmistress, I remember her. Um, I even remember her name. She was she was a. Um, she hated me at school. She said I'd never go anywhere. I always blamed everyone else for my trouble and shit like this. My mum would back me up at school, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and then they, my actual, my, my uh, head teacher at primary school actually wrote a bad report to my second, to one of my the secondary schools that I applied to that I actually ended up getting through a data prote- uh, what is it data privacy no freedom of inf- freedom of information. Yeah. My mum did a freedom of information to a school to get um, the uh, the report of me. Okay, the head teacher slagged me off so bad, right? Oh, yeah. Um, but I was hated at school, hated at secondary school, hated at primary school. I was that guy, like, I was just, like, yeah. I was a bit naughty, you know, but it's, it's, but you get, mom, you get more hate, yeah, when you're naughty. you that you were, like, you were causing so much mischief in school? She loves me so much that she'd find any excuse to sort of say, like, defend you. yeah, yeah, my mum defend me till death, she would, yeah. like, no matter, if I'm doing anything wrong, my mum will defend me, like, and that, my mum is my mum. I love Honestly, her so yeah, much, you know, whatever I do. But I, I got a bad report report written about me. Yeah. Don't let him in. He does this. He's naughty, this and that. Grades were so good. Got in anyway, yeah, yeah. you know. Like, I've, I've people have tried to stop me along the whole way. It was the same in secondary school. But, yeah, uh, yeah I'm, you're right. I was, I was naughty as a yeah. kid. But my mum was always the one that kept me straight. 